Well, hello, I'm Zach from Liberty Way Realty in Lake Orion, Michigan, and today we're going to talk about some more parts of the home buying process. Specifically, we're going to talk about financing and the aspect of land contracts. So we're going to keep this short, we're going to keep it brief, quick and easy. A land contract is a different style of financing a home in which the seller essentially functions as the bank. And so what happens is an agreement happens between the buyer and the seller and the seller finances the sale. There, a, a price is agreed upon, a down payment is agreed upon, then a term is agreed upon. How long will the financing be for? Um, it's not uncommon to see between three and 10 years. Um, an interest rate is agreed upon. Oftentimes the interest rate is significantly higher with a land contract. And the reason for that is, is because land contracts generally happen as a result of the buyer being unable to currently secure traditional financing in the form of a mortgage. This seller, knowing this, is able to increase the interest rate to a higher percentage to protect themselves and to take advantage of the situation in front of them. Also agreed upon in this moment is a payment amount. How much is going to be paid each month? And then finally, in most, in most land contracts, there is a balloon payment due at the end of the term. So the term generally is not going to cover the entirety of the payment for the house. And so what that means is, let's say it's a 10 year term. Well, traditional mortgage is 30 years. So at the end of 10 years, you haven't paid off the house yet. So what the, the object is, is that you in those 10 years can, can fix your credit score, can fix your debt, whatever might be keeping you from getting a mortgage. And then when that balloon payment is due, you can convert that by taking on a traditional mortgage onto this house and complete the sale of your house, complete the purchase of the house so it can now become yours. Now, in a land contract, the seller traditionally holds the title. So the buyer does not hold the title until they've completed the terms of the contract. And so, so on the one hand, it's, a way for, it's another way for a seller to sell their property. Easier for them, they can make a little profit off of it if they're willing to hold it and see some passive income. Um, it can also benefit buyers who can't qualify for a mortgage now, but at the same time, there is always risk involved. If you, you may lose the property if you default. You uh, um, don't actually hold the title to the land, and you're banking on the, the, fact, the idea that you will be able to become qualified before your balloon term, your balloon payment comes up. So that's the basic gist of a land contract for financing. Um, again, my name is Zach. I'm here at Liberty Way Realty in Lake Orion, Michigan. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to the phone number on the screen. Um, contact me directly. I'll get you in. We'll do some showings. We'll find exactly what you need. Have a great day. Ready for home.